So like all meals, this has to be cooked first. But for tonight's dinner, the idea is to get this rice and these red kidneys and long grain basmati rice. We're gonna put it together and make a meal out of it tonight. Welcome to LT Vegan Living. And we cook it by finding the directions. And, uh, oh yeah, there it. So the directions here are: bring water to a rapid boil, add flavor like salt, whatever, to reduce stickiness. Some people add oil, and then add pasta and stir. Return to rapid boil. Cook uncovered, stirring occasionally. Cook for eight minutes to firm pasta. Nine minutes for tender pasta. Ten minutes. Now what I've done is I've filled the stock pot, our biggest pot, almost half full. Next, I'm gonna turn on the heat and I'm gonna leave it on high. And I'm gonna, as soon as it starts boiling, we'll be returning and I'll explain what I'll be doing next. I'm gonna use pink Himalayan sea salt and I use approximately a quarter of a teaspoon. Now this salt has no iodine in it. And if you're worried about iodine, you should use iodized salt. When I'm worried about iodine, I drop in seaweed into it. And that's what we're doing today. I'm gonna drop in about, we're not gonna break it up in little pieces, we're just gonna drop it in. And then it will diffuse some of the iodine in the water. Now I'm not cooking this, this has already been cooked. It was in the freezer being stored all I'm doing this is a, I'm gonna put this at 50% defrost in the microwave. Just so that it gets a little bit pliable. So when I, at, I put in the macaroni, it's going to be easy to mix together. We're gonna need some sauce to coat the macaroni. Even though the beans and the rice are together, I think that using Prego Italian or traditional Italian sauce is a good way to do it. It's fast, it's already has the ingredients into it. This has got tomato paste, diced tomatoes and tomato juice. It's got sugar less than 1% of canola oil, so it does have a little oil, salt, dehydrated onions, dehydrated garlic, citric acid, onion extract, garlic extract. It's a little bit high in calorie, but it's okay on the vegan diet. If you're worried about it, just be careful not to put too much of the sauce on top of your macaroni product. Okay, so what I did is the bean mixture is completely, is nice and warmed up. Not too hot, just fine for to start off with. And what I did is I mixed up the Prego Italian sauce, the traditional one, and I mixed it together. So this is gonna basically be our sauce for the night. There's at least a couple cups in here. It's, it's, I want it loose, it's gonna go on top. It's gonna give us a little bit of a, the rice and the bean flavor, but it's also going to coat the macaroni. In this case, the rotini macaroni. And let's see. It's flavorful, it already has spices into it. So I'm not gonna really add anything to it. This is just a quick meal for the night. I'm gonna put it in this two quart pan and warm it up on the stove top. And that way it'll be all ready for me when the macaroni is finished. Okay. Now I placed it on a low heat. I'm not trying to boil it, it's already cooked. And I'm just trying to warm up the spaghetti sauce. And here the water is slowly coming to a boil. There's a few bubbles on the bottom, but that's about all that's happening there. So I'll be back in a little bit when the water boils and then we'll put in the noodles, the macaroni noodles into the pot.
You can't miss it. The water's boiling. So this is the perfect time for you to open the box, drop these in. Now why such a big pot? Pasta doesn't like to be touching each other. So that's the reason. Use a spoon. I'm just gonna stir it a little bit. Be careful not to break apart the seaweed. Otherwise it leaves black flecks. Not that it bothers me that much, but you know, for presentation people kind of wonder, what is that black thing on top of your macaroni? Or your routini, routini macaroni? Well, when I try to explain to them it's seaweed, they kind of wonder about that. Okay, so we're gonna let that to come up to a boil again. So then we cook it uncovered for eight minutes. minutes. All right, so that's all ready to go. And if you see the water, it is already boiling. See right over here, it's boiling. So it's cooking right now. So it's cook, uncovered, stirring occasionally for very firm pasta, cook eight minutes. Then you drain. All right, so we'll see you in about eight minutes and I'll show you the draining process. So it's been in there for three minutes. What I'm doing is I'm just stirring the so it doesn't stick on the bottom because there is no oil in this water. Two more minutes left, we're just kind of making sure the bottom doesn't stick. All right, now it's been a full eight minutes. Now unless you want that seaweed in there, you should pull it out and I'm gonna pull it out. A little gelatinous thing there. Now be very careful with this, it's very hot. So what you're gonna be doing, you've got your strainer down the middle of the sink and you're just gonna pour the macaroni into the strainer. See, it's empty. Put this on the stove where the burner is not hot so that way it doesn't continue boiling the pot. Okay, move everything back so I'll show you what I do next. I use a large bowl and I pour some of the macaroni, most of it actually, into the bowl. I'm reserving some so I'm gonna use this in other meals. Then, sauce. In fact, the sauce, that's almost too much. There. Okay. So as you can see from the bottom, it's about a quarter of this size of the bowl. And I take the sauce and slip over and I pour it over the top of it. And to get all of it, you're going to need to get Then you take the spatula and you pour it on top. Now this meal happens to have your complete protein because the beans and the rice are complete protein. And it has additional protein from, from the spaghetti sauce and the noodles themselves. The noodles have seven grams of protein per three quarter cup. So you're already at a good advantage here of getting enough protein for the meal. You just mix it up a little bit like this. I don't like to leave any of it behind. And then you serve it. Now we're ready, ready to serve the plate for it with using a spoon where you can just simply pour it on the plate. If you like beans, you make sure you get the portion of beans that you like. And this is a very healthy and well-balanced meal. Well, there's a lot more carbohydrates in the rotini uh, macaroni, but 
if you always if you're worried about it you can always add more vegetables into it so this is what I'm eating for tonight now this is ideal once it's cool you have to let it cool first once it's cool you put it in the bags like I'm doing right now and I'll be adding this to my other dishes throughout the week Just scrape the sides so you get as much freshness as you can. That's just what I try to do anyway. So once you have your bags full, get the air out of it. Make sure you mark it and date it. What did I get out of this? I got two bags that I can mix it with future dishes. And I got two bags of, of macaroni that hasn't been um, add any sauce to them. So sauceless macaroni. Plus, I got dinner for tonight. Now this I'll be able to add easily to dishes. And this is going to have some more, I'm going to have some more interesting dishes to show you in the coming days. Thank you for watching. If you like this channel, please subscribe or give us a thumbs up.